All right, everybody, I'm back in this uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, headlight assembly on my KTM 1090. Um, let me uh, just go ahead and tell you what I'm trying to do or what the problem is. What I'm trying to do is have auxiliary power to run to my GPS. I'm, I want to have connected up here, um, but I do not want constant on. I guarantee you that I will leave it on, kill my battery, and be stranded somewhere. Um, so here is the solution. Um, you have two auxiliary leads behind the headlight. One is ACC1 and one is ACC2. ACC2 is controlled by the ignition. You would think that's what you want, but it only gives you one amp of power. So good luck at doing anything more than charging one cell phone. Um, ACC1 is constant on, it's 10 amps, but if you uh, don't disconnect or turn off your power source, you're going to just going to, going to continue to drain your battery. So easy solution, pretty easy, is you're going to want to get a uh, 12 volt adapter um, that ha already has, the KTM one already has two extra leads. Um, it comes with, sort of intended to have the male positive and negative go directly into either ACC1 or ACC2 um, and then have the extra females for, uh, for something else. Um, but in this case, so that I can use the ignition as a switch to control the, uh, the 10 amp power, you're going to use one of these little small, simple $15 to $17 auto parts relays. Got that one at AutoZone. Um, that was the that's the part right there. All right, drop that. Okay, so all you're going to do is take the take the positive and negative off ACC2. This is the ACC2 and it's only the one amp power. And that you're gonna plug into the parallel plugs on the top of the relay, positive and negative. So this way, positive and negative behind it. I don't think it really matters on a relay which one you do. Um, and then the other catch comes in is when you do these vertical, the vertical relay side right here, you're gonna use the hot 10 amp line from ACC1 into one of the plugs. And on the other side, you're sort of gonna steal that other female hot connector I told you about from the 12 volt and put it right there. So now when I turn the ignition on, that will trigger and be like a gate door swinging open inside to power over here so that everything is being powered by the 10 amp, but it's being controlled by the switch on the one amp. Hope that helps. Yeah, you're gonna have a, a little bit of a backward situation over here because you'll have the negative female to hook up your auxiliary uh, GPS or whatever to. Um, but you'll have a female on one side and a male connector on the other side, but uh, that's not a that's not a problem. You can just do the opposite on the other end of the line. Hope that makes sense.